so this is April 27th. 25th. 25th, I'm sorry. I'm lost right now with everything. Wait, what freeway am I taking? The 210. Okay, so, you know, Saturday, normal Saturday, watching a couple movies, and Jess uh, starts leaking a little. So we do this little test thing where she's supposed to sit, I mean, lay down for 30 minutes, and then come, you know, stand up afterwards and see if she's leaking again, and she was. So... We called the doctors, and the doctor said to go ahead and come in just to see because it's a possibility that her water broke. But she hasn't had any contractions. She's right here. She's feeling good. Um, do you have anything to say, Jess? No, I feel fine. So, we'll see. Woke me up for my nap, so now we just gotta go. I feel good, though. So, I'm just ready. If she comes out right now, then awesome. Well, like, in about 30 minutes while we get there. We'll see. So we made it. Let's see what happens. Hey guys. So just just went in. They told me to. Sorry, she just sent me a text. But they told me to um, come to the car. They admitted her in, and they're just checking if it's actually happening or whatever. I guess. So, uh, we'll see. So it's been an hour already and she's dilated at three, um, from what she's telling me, three centimeters or whatever. And the doctor's supposed to come in right now to check on her. And she's just telling me how there's someone else in there with her, um, you know, next to her or whatever. And it's another girl and I guess, uh, she's having a few problems, but, um, we're here. I'm here at least. And I know the family over there that know, uh, we're all praying at this time and I'm also praying for that girl and her family but um everything's good so far it looks like we might be heading home um with Stella still in Jess's stomach but we'll see I mean it could still be a too close of a call but um yeah that's the update okay hour two and Jess is still in the doctor's office um so nothing has changed they're still monitoring her doctors there I'm still here waiting, um, but um, we're staying hopeful, and uh, we're just texting each other, checking up on each other, but um, we'll see what happens. Hour two. All right, so I just got word that uh, Jess is going to stay, and uh, I guess her water bag was ruptured, so uh, they're going to get things ready. I'm about to head in there with Jess. And, um, you know, I'm keeping them in prayer and, uh, it's going to be awesome. I guess she's going to be here tomorrow and we're super excited to meet Stella and, um, yeah. All right. So I'm on my way now to, uh, see Jess in the hospital and, uh, sucks to have this mask on, but, uh, everything's going to be awesome. All right, so we are here, and let me show you guys Jess. Jess, how are you feeling? I feel great. No pain, which is good. Thank God there's no pain. I guess the nurse came in and said it was perfectly just not having contractions every five minutes. Yeah, so she is having contractions every four to five minutes, four to six minutes, but uh, Jess isn't feeling any pains. You see these little marks right here, these are contractions. So the last one she had was at 1140. It is at exactly 1141. So it was a minute ago. Jess, did you feel it? No, I haven't felt anything. Um, the feeling has been skipping, checking. <laughs> Good. Even all smiles, no pain. Looking good. And so this is our room. As of right now, there's a bathroom, the sink, the TV, which is still off, but is about to come on. Yeah. Our baby girl, she's moving a lot. She's ready to come. And we can't wait to get in there. We're super excited. Okay, so it is 2 a.m. 
and just is feeling contractions. He's also getting some shivers. She's standing right there. How are you feeling, Joss? Okay, those shivering suck when it comes. Oh, it's tight. My shivering stuff. So. Shivering is not cool. I had to stand up. I can't lay down. Yeah. So we're we're getting there. Mexican and Salvadorian. And Salvadorian. What about you? I'm Salvadorian and Peruvian. Yeah, I know in a lot of um, cultures they're dominant in, right? Like Asian Pacific. It is April 26, 2020. It is 7... 40 and um, we have a surprise. Stella was born. Mm -hmm. Mommy, tell us the process. Let Stella know. Stella know about the, how she was born. We came to the hospital, they admitted us, and then the hours went by so fast. All of a sudden, I was six centimeters. And then eight came, and probably the worst feeling I've ever felt in my life. Eight centimeters. Oh, I couldn't take it anymore. I was crying. But it was manageable crying, so it's not too bad. But it was bad, just because I've never felt cramps in my life before. Um, and then after, all of a sudden, a doctor came in, and she told me to push. And so I came out in, like, less than ten minutes, and that didn't hurt as much as Doug's last contractions did. And then she came out, and she's been a quiet little baby, just sleeping, staring at us. We were talking to her for a good while, and she was just staring at us, and she's finally asleep. Look, Stella. Stella, baby girl. She is knocked out. She's like slowly being, just like when she was in my tummy. She'd sleep the whole night with me and wake up like around 8 o'clock. So, Stella was born on the 26th of April, of course, at 3.43 a.m. She's very healthy. It was an incredible... Oh, man, look at my hair. It was an incredible experience. It was crazy. Uh, ups and downs, obviously. But, um, man, I, I was super excited to see Stella and, um, Stella, let me tell you something. Mommy did so good, and you did so good, too. It was awesome, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was just unbelievable, and, um, it's a blessing and one of the greatest things ever. Here we are as three. I'm super proud of my girls. No medication needed and um there they are the two most beautiful girls mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! Oh. you know we're still in the recovery room just recovering stella's sleeping away uh, i am hungry but uh yeah You know why Bella wakes up really late? Because she wants to just eat and then that's it. Kind of like you are right now. Yeah. Isn't that funny? That's funny because she gets up and she goes... And then she goes eat. And after she eats, that's it. She goes to sleep. She 
she eats, sleeps. Yeah, like you, like you. Right now. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, you're tired now, my storage? Good. Mm. Oh, we go to church? And then when you go to church, mommy, you're gonna be in the little baby section. And they're gonna take care of you. And they're gonna pray for you. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. And here comes a yawn. Okay.